What is going on guys? So today I will be showing my um, Firebelly Toad setup and a little bit about their care too. So basically, you know, I have two Firebelly Toads. There's one obviously right there and then I don't know if you can see them. But there's one inside that little cave. And so essentially you want like one third land and two thirds water because they are toads but they act more like frogs than toads. Um, and so like I have you know, a little plant that I probably should take out. It's kind of dying. Um, so I have a place for them to hide on land, a place for them to hide in between, and then a place for them to hide in the water. Um, I feed them small crickets every other day. And um, you typically want more than one. That's why I have two, because um, they are social animals. You um, you know, they can get lonely, I guess. it's kind of, I guess it kind of sounds stupid for a, 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 blah, an amphibian to get, you know, lonely. But, I mean, they are social animals. You want to have more than one of them. Uh, and then this is my cricket keeper thing. Um, I just put like, I have like cricket drink for them. And I uh, usually put just a cut up piece of apple. And that'll last them for about a week or two. And I usually get like two dozen crickets at a time. And then every other day for two, um, for two toads, I put like b between five and ten crickets in there. And then that'll last them two days until you feed them again. Um, and like I said, you know, gravel is honestly the best option because um, it's easy to move around and stuff. You know, and also if you try to stack up bigger rocks, it could fall and hurt them or even kill them. Um, so, you know, you just want to, like, be as safe as possible because they are pretty small animals. They're probably, I mean, they're only like an inch and a half, maybe two inches if you get a really big one. Um... So you just want to be careful with that. And I mean, I do have, like you can see, there's a bigger rock right there. And so you want to have like a, a steady slope. You know, there's land right there. And then you can see it just slowly transitions into the water. And you, you know, notice I have a, a fire belly salamander there too. And I also have a, oh, the plant's blocking it. But you can see I also have a log right there too um, for the salamanders to hide in. So, um, you just, you want to, you know, have a steady slope of, you know, land to water. You don't want it to just drop off super quick. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. They are relatively easy to care for. Um, you just, you know, just make sure that you're careful. They are kind of fragile. You know, make sure that they're fed. Make sure they have enough water because, you know, you obviously don't want them to dry out. Make sure you have places for them to hide, you know, places for things... Um, like places for them to climb on and stuff Because I mean they are relatively easy and like I said you may notice that I have some fire belly salamanders in here too But that is a video for another time. So with that being said, they're very easy to care for They're also very cute and um, just a fun pet to have. He's just kind of staring at me So uh, with all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day